The Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. The Great Gildersleeve is brought to you by the Kraft Foods Company. Kraft makers of the one and only Miracle Whip salad dressing. And one and only is right, friends, because there is no other salad dressing like Miracle Whip. No other salad dressing has that distinctive flavor, that lively, teasing flavor that's peppy, yet not a bit too sharp. It's a flavor millions prefer. Enjoy it on your salads. Tomorrow, get a jar of the one and only Miracle Whip. Spring here, there's a lot of house cleaning going on in Summerfield. The great Gildersleeve has refinished his parlor furniture. Mr. Peavy has sprayed his screens. Chief of Police Gates has whitewashed the jail. Even the Jolly Boys Club over Floyd's Barbershop hasn't escaped. And while the paint is drying up there, the gang is meeting at Judge Hooker's house. For it's always Good voice tonight, Gilder. Floyd, what are you trying to play? Home sweet home, Commish. Right off the needle point on the judge's wall. <laughs> home sweet home. I love that picture. My mother in Salinas has one over the mantel. Play something else, Floyd. The chief's getting sentimental. Okay. Let me see. That's fine, Floyd. Oh, it certainly is, Floyd. Oh, my goodness. What's the matter with the judge? Perhaps it'd sound better, Floyd, if you'd pull out all the stops. Well, I ain't a bad old organ, Judge. Thank you. It hasn't been played for quite a while. There are a few cracks in the bellows. Uh, if the air's escaping, Floyd, try pumping your feet a little faster. Uh-uh. If you're going to sing any songs, I better save my legs. <laughs> hey, what's that? It's my doorbell, Floyd. Yeah, I thought we was raided. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that must be Peavy. Come in, Peavy. Well, hello, Judge. <laughs> Gentlemen. Hi, Peavy. Hello, Mr. Peavy. Peavy, we were just about to sing a song. There is a tavern in the town. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> now, now, Peavy, I have a lot of good music. Yeah, why don't we try one of these antiques here on the organ? Well, let's see what the judge has here. Uh, the bird in the gilded cage. Cubanola glide. Alma, where do you live? Uh, how about this one? I picked the lemon in the garden of love. That was a hit song in 1906. I didn't know they had lemons in 1906. <laughs> yes, they did. I used to go with one. <laughs> Say, fellas, here's a dandy. My wife's gone to the country. Hurrah, hurrah. 1909. Ah, uh, let's take this one. We all know it. Yeah, that has a solo line for me. We're all together now, gang. Hit it. By the light. By the light. Silvery, silvery, 
silver, 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 Great base, Chief. Oh, it was nothing, Commissioner. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> well, if I do say so myself, the acoustics are excellent here in my parlor. Yeah, music always sounds better in a musty room. Lloyd. Huh? Well, I do the best I can. Since I don't have my housekeeper now, it's a chore to keep things spick and spank. I think it looks mighty nice, Judge. I've never seen your pussy willows over the fireplace look better. Thank you, Chief. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll go brew some tea. Be a good idea, Judge. Forget what I said, Judge. You're a swell housekeeper. That's all right, Floyd. Isn't he a crummy housekeeper? <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't have to tell him so, Floyd. Judge's house wouldn't look bad at all if he'd get some of the junk out of here. He's had those old cattails behind that picture for 20 years. Well, cattails I can stand, but them peacock feathers in the umbrella stand ought to go. <laughs> Well, the place could stand a spring cleaning. Things accumulate over the years. Yeah, I'll say. Last week when me and Lovey was cleaning, we threw away a truckload of stuff. Well, the judge doesn't have anybody around to help. Say, why don't we jolly boys clean up the judge's house? Us? Sure. He's going out of town tomorrow. We can surprise him. Oh, wait a minute, Commissioner. I just got through renovating the jail. Took me a whole day to lamp black the cell bars. Yeah, oh, come on, fellas. Now, what do you say? It'll be a jolly boy's good deed. <laughs> I wish you'd thought of these good dudes last week when Mrs. Peavy and I were cleaning. We ought to do it for the judge. He's lived with it so long, he doesn't realize how cluttered his house is. Remember our slogan now? All for one and one for all. Well, I'm game. I'll donate half a day from the barber shop. You're a Floyd. It'll be worth it to get rid of all this underbrush he's collected. What do you say, Chief? Mm, if everybody's for it, I'll help. Well, Mrs. Peavy always likes a chance to attend the drugstore. Yeah, okay, it's a deal. But don't say anything to the judge. Let's keep it a secret. Here comes the tea. Well, what are you gentlemen huddling about? Oh, nothing, Judge. Yeah, we're just deciding on another song. Yeah, that's right. Yes, indeed. Okay, how about goodbye, Pussy Willows, goodbye? <laughs> That was a fine breakfast, Bertie. Thank you, Mr. Gilsey. Now, where's the scrub pail and the mop? Scrub pail and mop? Yeah, that's what I asked for in my drink. What's the matter? Aren't you spill your prunes? <laughs> no, Leroy. The pail and mop, please, Bertie. Yes, sir. And some floor wax, furniture polish, and dusting cloths. Yes, sir. And I'll want the vacuum cleaner, Bertie. Mr. Gilsey, what are you trying to do? Get Bertie's job? <laughs> no, not exactly, Bertie. That's what he's trying to do, get Bertie's job. <laughs> Augie, <laughs> what's this all about? It's a secret, it's a secret. What are you up to? Now, kiddies, don't get curious. Who's curious about a scrub bucket? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the water commissioner's going to scrub up the office. No, nothing like that. I know, the mayor's transferring on to the street cleaning department. <laughs> he is not. As a matter of fact, I'm just doing an old friend a favor. Oh? Last night at the Jolly Boys meeting, I had a great idea. We were at the judge's house... And I noticed it's in pretty bad shape, since he doesn't have his housekeeper. So it occurred to me that while he's out of town today, it'd be a nice gesture if the Jolly Boys pitched in and cleaned house for him. I thought of it. Yeah, we got that impression. <laughs> well, I think it's a wonderful idea, Anki. Well, I'm always thinking of nice things like that. All the Jolly Boys are meeting here this morning, and then... Oop, here they come now. I'll get it! No, yeah, I'll get it, Bertie. Hey, that's the judge. I see his car out front. Uh-oh, I have to get rid of him. The judge mustn't know what I'm doing. That'd spoil everything. Coming! Yeah, remember, kiddies, it's a secret. Mum's the word. Who's talking? Morning, Gilda. Judge, I thought you'd gone to the county seat. I'm on the way. I just dropped by to bring your cigar lighter. You left it on the organ last night. Yeah, oh, thanks, Judge. Well, see you later. Have a nice trip. Gilda. Are you trying to rush me off? Judge, I'm expecting some other people. Oh, stop pushing me. <laughs> Who? Well, some friends of yours. We're going to do you a favor. But you aren't supposed to know about it. 
My idea. Oh, a surprise for me? Yeah, little idea I cooked up with the jolly boy. Well, I won't ask what it is. I'll be on my way. Hey, wait a minute, Judge. Aren't you curious? What? We're doing this for you, remember? You might show a little interest. I thought I wasn't supposed to know about it. You're not. By the way, Judge, do you still keep your house key under the welcome mat? Well, yes. And uh, you, how about those antiques? Will that finish take a furniture polish? Of course, Gildy. Why do you ask? Well, that's part of my big idea. What about your rugs, Horace? Do you take them out and beat them or vacuum them? Gildy, what are you up to? You mean you haven't guessed by now? Judge, while you're away, I'm cleaning your house. You? You, well, like I say, I'm pulling the jolly boys in to help me. I don't want to take all the credit myself. Why, Gildy, old friend, what a splendid thing to do for me. But you fellas shouldn't give your time. Oh, glad to do it, Judge. Now be on your way before the others come. Oh, yes, I'd better go. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. And remember, Judge, this is our secret. Our secret? Leroy. Auntie, I thought you weren't going to tell the judge. Well, Marjorie... He wheedled it out of me. <laughs> yes, yes. Don't tell anybody. It's a secret. Mum's the word. Big deal. Mm, that boy. Well, Unky, you were pretty obvious with the judge. Well, my dear. Excuse me. Yes, Bertie. I got the floor waxed, the furniture polished, the bathroom clean, and the mop bucket ready. Well, thank you, Bertie. I'll get it. Yeah, I'll get it, Bertie. <laughs> uh, what if I wasn't a lobbyist? You're doing something for somebody. You deserve the credit. No use hiding my light under a mop bucket. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Commissioner. This is Floyd. Oh, Floyd. I'm waiting for you. We're due at the judges. Well, I can't leave the barbershop today, Commissioner. You can't? I got nine customers waiting for haircuts. Nine? Mama Nelson just brought in his kids. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, Floyd, can't you put them off? At a buck a head? Little Floyd, he Munson ain't crazy. Sorry, I can't be with you, Commission. Yeah, I'll bet. Have a good time. Yes, yes. Goodbye, Commission. Goodbye. Look at that, Floyd. Down at his barbershop making money. What a sneaky way to get out of cleaning house. <laughs> Gildersleeve, what can I do for you this morning? What can you do? Phoebe, don't look so innocent. Last night you promised to help me clean the judge's house. Uh oh, yes, yes. Well, I, I'm afraid you'll have to count me out, Mr. Gildersleeve. Phoebe, not you, too. That's the way it looks. Well, I thought Mrs. Phoebe wanted to run the store. Uh, yes, but this is her day to run their garden club. Phoebe, which is more important? The garden club or cleaning the judge's house? I'd hate to put that to vote before the garden club. Yeah, all right, Peavy. If that's the final word. That's the final word, Mr. Gildersleeve. I heard it this morning before I left home. <laughs> <laughs> well, here comes the chief. He'll help me. Good morning, Peavy. Hello, chief. Hello, commissioner. I was just by your house, and they told me I'd find you at the drugstore. Well, chief, are you ready? Ha <laughs> ha, you bet I am. I'm letting a deputy prepare lunch for the prisoners so I'm free. Yeah, you're true, Blue Chief. Of course, we'll have to do this job alone. Uh, we will? Yeah, Phoebe and Floyd won't help us. Fair-weather friends. Well, it isn't as if we wouldn't like to, Chief. We ran into complications. Oh? Well, in that case, Commissioner, perhaps we should clean the judge's house another time. Well, I can't do that, Chief. I told the judge we were going to clean his house today. How's that? Yeah, I mean, you told the judge? <laughs> Commissioner, I thought this was to be our little secret. Well, uh, blabbermouth. <laughs> no, Peavy. On second thought, Commissioner, I don't think I can help you today either. You are this, Chief? Well, my deputy doesn't make a very good stew. The prisoners might complain. Yeah, for that's an excuse, and you know it. Yes, I know it. You're all right. Back out, all of you. You'll be sorry you didn't help me clean the judge's house. Well, now, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Whose idea was this, anyway? The great 
Gildersleeve returns in a moment. Nothing is quite as eye-appealing on a dinner table as a colorful, tempting salad. For example, just imagine a shimmering lime gelatin salad mold surrounded with lettuce cups filled with plump, juicy red strawberries. Just be sure that salad tastes every bit as good as it looks. Serve the very best salad dressing you can buy, delicious Miracle Whip. Miracle Whip has a perfect, just-right flavor, a flavor that's distinctive because Miracle Whip is actually a different kind of salad dressing made from a secret craft recipe that combines the best qualities of old-fashioned boiled dressing and fine mayonnaise. No wonder Miracle Whip outsells the next 20 leading brands of salad dressing combined. Get a jar tomorrow and enjoy colorful, attractive salads topped with the salad dressing millions prefer, smooth, delicious Miracle Whip. And say, here's something to look forward to. It's the big salad carnival that'll be in full swing at your grocer's soon. There'll be salad makings galore to give you lots of new salad ideas. Plan now to visit your grocer's wonderful big salad carnival and stock up on all the famous craft salad dressings. Well, let's get back to the great Gildersleeve. He had the brilliant idea of getting the Jolly Boys and cleaning Judge Hooker's house on the day the judge was out of town. It was to be a big surprise. But now, guess who's surprised? Yeah, I never dreamed the Jolly Boys wouldn't be able to help me. I have a feeling I put myself on the spot. Still, why should I go over to the judge's house and do all that work myself? I better lie down on the couch and think this over. You know, it wouldn't be fair to the others if I went over alone. If I did all the work, I'd get all the credit. It was supposed to be a Jolly Boys project. Aki, what are you doing on the couch? I thought you were going to the judge's house. Well, Marjorie, the plans have changed a little. Oh? Phoebe has to stay at the pharmacy. And Floyd has a big rush on at the barber shop. And the chief says he has to be at the jail. Everybody has an excuse. What's your excuse? Well, I'll think of something everybody else has. Well, I don't see how you can refuse to go through with it now, Unky. Well, why not? Well, it was supposed to be a secret. But you had to tell the judge. Now you can't back out. Well, I guess not. Blabbermouth. What? <laughs> Nothing. Boob. Stoop. Pigeon. <laughs> Anki, you can't just sit there calling yourself names. You've got to keep your promise. No. Well, if you don't, the judge will be disappointed in you. Why, it might even break up your friendship. Well, that might teach me a lesson. Oh, I'd hate to see anything come between you and Judge Hooker. Oh, I don't think it'll come to that. Maybe the judge thought I was kidding this morning. After all, Marjorie, it is a pretty silly idea. A bunch of grown men going over and cleaning a house. Sure, I'll bet the judge has forgotten all about it. Miss Gill, please. Yes, Bertie. Here's a package somebody sent you. Me? What an interesting-looking box. Open it, Anki. Yeah, you'll be sending me a package. What is it? It's a box of cigars. My favorite brand. Ain't that something? Here's the card, Anki. Yes, let's see. To my thoughtful friends, with a thousand thanks, Horace Hooker. <laughs> oh, he hasn't forgotten, Anki. You had a heck of a time to remember. Now I've got to clean his confounded house. I'll take the buckets, Leroy. You bring them up. Okay. Gosh, Uncle, why couldn't Marge come over and help you clean? This is women's work. Well, yeah, Marjorie has the twins to look after, my boy. Well, why can't I go home and look after the twins and send Marge over? They like me. I make them laugh when I wiggle my ears. They probably miss me right now. No, Leroy, I need you here. What about Bertie? Well, Bertie has her chores to do at home. Besides, she just cleaned our house. Can't ask her to clean another one. Hey, maybe the judge's key isn't under the mat. Well, no such luck. Maybe it's the wrong key. Maybe it'll jam the lock. Maybe it can't work it. Step in, Leroy. <laughs> okay. 
Now, we'll start. Let's see, where will we start? You know, not in the parlor. Pussy willows, cattails. Yeah, we'll save the hard job for the last. Unc, I'm not too interested in doing this. You aren't? I can't clean house. I'm just a little kid. <laughs> Leroy, I wasn't going to mention this until we'd finished the job. But I plan to give you 50 cents for helping. 50 cents? Oh, boy, I'm the best little house cleaner you ever saw. Yeah, that's the spirit, my boy. Let's begin with the judge's study. Holy cow! Look at all our newspapers and magazines. Stacks of them. And this is only one room. Uh... You're all right, Leroy. 75 cents. <laughs> Kitchen floor. The water commissioner with housemaid's knee. Huh, are you scrubbing that floor again? Yes, Leroy. Maybe I shouldn't have hauled the ashes out through the kitchen. Well, <laughs> for some reason, we don't seem to be making much progress. Did you take all those papers outside? Uh, yeah, and I found this can of paint in the garage, Unc. Maybe I could touch up some of the scratches on the pantry door. Well, it wouldn't hurt. Oh, boy, I like the paint. Look at Unc. Yes, Leroy. That isn't the way to handle the brush. Let me show you the stroke. Yeah, but gosh. Yeah, painting is ticklish business. Yeah, don't be afraid of it. You have to get some paint on the brush, like this. <laughs> yeah, all over the floor. Oh, brother. Now you've got to scrub the floor again. Yeah, I have a better idea. This is Mr. Gildersleeve. Uh-oh. Move that chair back, Leroy. Sure. Isn't that vacuum getting hot, Bertie? It's smoking. But when I finish this rug, I'm through. I'm through. Me too. I'm bushed. Yeah, the part of the rug looks nice, Bertie. Thank you, sir. Them old cattails sure did shed. Yeah, good riddance. I left them out by the ash can, Unc, with the peacock feathers and stuff. Good boy. How does this table look, Bertie? Well, it looks as though it could have a little more help, old grease there. Yeah, that's that all it's going to get. Gosh, house looks pretty good. Yeah, the old judge will like what we did. And Bertie? I'm going to reward you with a $5 box of candy. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Gillsleep, but anybody can look at me and tell I don't need candy. <laughs> well, I thought you'd like that. Of course, I could use the $5. <laughs> yeah, just as soon as we get home, Bertie, you deserve it. Thank you, sir. Well, heck, don't I deserve more than 75 cents? You bet, my boy, you deserve a dollar. Hey, Keen! And I deserve a medal. Yes, sir. Anybody home? Oh, hi, Mr. Munson. Hi, Leroy. Commish. Hello, Bertie. Good evening, gentlemen. Floyd and Peavy. Oh, well, Mr. Gildersleeve. Thought we'd drop by and see if we could be of any help. Yeah. You're a little late, Peavy. Hey, the place looks different, don't it, Peavy? Mm, my, yeah. Well, it should. We've worked here all day. Here, yeah, Bertie. Fluff up the judge's Chicago World's Fair pillow. Yes, sir. When the judge comes home, he's going to think he's in the wrong house. Yeah, could be, Bertie. Yes, sir. Mr. Gillsleeve threw out the cattails, the pussy willows, and the peacock feathers, and now the judge is going to think he's in the wrong house. Yes. <laughs> when the judge walks in his study and sees all them newspapers and magazines gone, he's going to think he's in the wrong house. Yeah, that's about right, Bertie. Mr. Gillsleeve, you know what the judge is going to think when he sees all that stuff gone? Yes, Bertie. That's right, he's going to think he's in the wrong house. <laughs> I think Bertie's got something there. <laughs> well, it cost me a little money. It was a lot of work, but by George, it was worth it. I'll sleep like a baby tonight. You know, it makes me tired just to look at all you've done. Well, now, the judge's place wasn't really dirty. He just had it all cluttered up. Well, well, 
Now, look at that. Hey, it's the judge. My, what a shiny kitchen I have. You go on in, judge, and take a look. Look at that. Peavy, Floyd. No, judge. Hi, judge. And Gildy. How can I thank you, old friend? Yeah. How beautiful my parlor is. Yeah, I'm glad you, 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 you judge. What do you got there? Let's see. The pussy willows go here. Got tails here. Peacock feathers in the umbrella stand and the milkweed pods atop the organ. Is he kidding? Judge, where'd you find all those things? Out back. Apparently you forgot to bring them in after you cleaned. The judge. Now, will you gentlemen help me carry in my papers and periodicals? They're out by the ash can. Yo, for you old goat. Why don't you bring the cans in, too? <laughs> Great Gildersleeve will be right back. Now that spring is here and summer is coming on, you'll probably be serving potato salad often again. And for the best potato salad you ever tasted, be sure you make it with Miracle Whip salad dressing. Miracle Whip will give your potato salad a wonderful, lively, teasing flavor, a just exactly right taste your folks, like millions, will go for Miracle Whip tastes so good, it's become the most popular salad dressing ever created. Get a jar soon, won't you? Make your salads taste better than ever with America's favorite salad dressing, the one and only Miracle Whip. This is Gildersleeve again. Just thought I'd mention that all the folks in Summerfield are working very hard in the civil defense program. Hope you and your community are doing the same. This is most important to each one of us. I suggest you get your copy of the official civil defense instructions either from your local civil defense organization or by writing to the superintendent of documents in Washington, D.C. and enclosing five cents in coin or stamp. Thanks for being with us. See you next week. Good night, all. <laughs> Great Gildersleeve is played by Willard Waterman. The show is written by Paul West, John Elliott, and Andy White, with music by Robert Armbruster. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley, Mary Lee Robb, Lillian Randolph, Arthur Q. Bryan, Ken Christie, Earl Ross, and Dick Legrand. This is John Heaston saying good night for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of the famous line of Kraft quality food products. Be sure to listen in next Wednesday and every Wednesday for the further adventures of the Great Gildersleeve. Now, here are the winners in the fifth and final week of Parquet Margarine's Great Name the Twins contest. For entries postmarked before midnight, April 14th, glamorous new Ford Victorias go to... Mrs. Clarence Morris, Russellville, Arkansas. Marion Atherton, Temple City, California. Rodney George Anderson, Newington, Connecticut. Mrs. Henry Milliken, Dallas, Texas. Winners of other prizes will be notified by mail. The makers of Parquet Margarine hope you have enjoyed this exciting contest. And they hope, too, that when you shop for margarine, you'll get the margarine that tastes so good because it's always fresh. Get P-A-R-K-A-Y, Parquet Margarine, made by Kraft. Don't miss The Falcon each Sunday over this station. Check your newspaper for time of broadcast and listen next Sunday as The Falcon solves the case of the Flaming Club. Groucho Marx plays You Bet Your Life with 